good morning friends my name is karthik i have been teaching dotnet for the past 7 years i have i have been a project analyst in a company and i have been training the uh, people in the technologies wcf mvc web services asp.net and c sharp today we will discuss uh, what is dotnet and what is c sharp before seeing c sharp we will discuss uh, we will discuss what is dotnet actually introduction to dotnet i will tell you how the dotnet has been introduced why the dotnet has been introduced what is dotnet dotnet is nothing but it's microsoft visual studio it is called as microsoft visual studio dotnet it's not simply dotnet it's microsoft visual studio dotnet and it has been introduced in the year 2002 along with the framework 1.0 i'll detailly explain you what is this framework 1.0 framework it has been introduced in the year 2002 so what is a dot net many of the people think that it is a language but it is not a language it is just a platform to develop a software application is dot net a language I will say it is definitely not, but it is just a platform to develop a software application. It is just a platform to develop a software application. So why do we uh, use this .NET? And what are the technologies involved in this .NET to develop a software application? For for a software programmer to develop any type of software application for a software programmer to develop any type of software application he needs one dot net language and one dot net technology then only he will be able to design a software application the combination of these two is called as a software application So the combination of a .NET language and a .NET technology is called as a software application. Many of the people think that .NET is, its, is itself a language, but it's not a language. .NET is having a .NET language plus a .NET technology to develop a software application. So once when we install a Visual Studio .NET in your system, along with it, .NET framework also gets installed. We will discuss what is this framework. When you install Visual Studio .NET in your system, automatically .NET framework also gets installed in your computer. So what is this .NET framework? As I already told you that to develop any type of software application, you need a .NET language and .NET technology. The .NET framework will be having all these .NET languages and .NET technologies. We will discuss detail. So first of all, we will discuss what is .NET framework. .NET Framework is nothing but What is this .NET Framework? .NET Framework is nothing but it's just a common platform to develop our software applications. So what this common platform provides to us? It provides .NET Languages number one and number two .NET Technologies And number three, base class libraries. And number four, dot net execution engine. It's nothing but we call it in your in our dot net language it as CLR. That is common language runtime. It is called as common language runtime. It comes along with these four components. One is .NET language, another is .NET technology, third one is base class library and .NET execution engine. So to design a software application, basically we need a .NET language and a .NET technology. So the framework will be like this. I'll, I'll give you the architecture diagram for this. 
dot net framework this is the architecture diagram there are 80 languages which support dot net dot net framework to develop any software application visual studio dot net is providing you 80 languages in that we commonly use c sharp and vb these are the two common languages like another visual c c++ visual j sharp visual fox pro like this and blah 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 like this 80 languages dot net language dot net will be supporting 80 languages to develop any type of software application this is called as layer 1 and in layer 2 what is there in the layer 2 is your technologies what are those technologies one is asp.net that is your web technology to design apps like gmail facebook etc and another is your wcf or web services and another is windows forms to develop all the desktop applications or stand alone applications this is layer 2 and third one is base class libraries called as bcl this is layer 3 base class libraries so this is the layer 3 and all the class files which you create in dot net will store in this base class libraries and the fourth layer is dot net execution engine this nothing but it comes along with the clr common language runtime this is the architecture diagram so layer work consists of all the dot net languages these are all dot net languages and layer 2 consists of all the dot net technologies layer 3 consists of these are all base cl base class libraries these are called as base class libraries all the dll files it supports all the dynamic link library files dll files these are called as dynamic link library files nothing but reusable files and fourth layer is dot net language that is clr common language runtime we will see first what is base class library so what is a base class library when you in the oops concept anything will be uh, anything will be in the oops concept you need to create a class and for you, there will be a class and for that you need to create a object to use this class for example person is an object and all his qualities we can create an object for this class like age height weight these are all the properties so all the classes which you create in dot net will be stored in this base class libraries and dll files it also creates the dynamic link library files where base class library stores it so how many base class libraries are there in dot net two one is predefined and second one is user defined what is predefined predefined means it is introduced by the microsoft programmer it has been written by microsoft programmer for example in c you will import the library files like hash include stdio.h like that so here in dot net we will use 
using system this is the base class library system is called as base class library without system without importing the system we can't get the classes in it i'll explain you detail in the next session while uh, compile i'll compile a program and show you what is a base class library what is this using how can we import this base class library what are user defined classes as i told you person it's a class user defined is nothing but it is if a programmer defines a class it is called as user defined class like person car each and every object <coughs> these are user defined classes user defined means defined by the normal programmer predefined means defined by the microsoft programmer these two come under the base class libraries without this base class libraries we can't uh, we can't uh, it's nothing but a collection of classes we can also call it as a collection of classes so base class library is nothing but it's a collection of classes and fourth one so we have discussed dot net languages dot net technologies and base class libraries dot net languages are c sharp vb vc++ visual j sharp visual fox pro like that to develop any type of technology like for a software programmer if he needs to develop any software application as i told you he needs a dot net language and a dot net technology for example if you want to design any desktop application like if you go to any supermarket like reliance stores he will be the person will be making the bill that is called as single user application or desktop applications desktop applications or stand alone applications which nothing but which is used by a single user in dot net we can use windows forms for designing the for designing a software application for designing a software application as i told you you need a technology and this is technology and you need a language along with this we can use c sharp this is technology and this is language so combination of these two will be a result of a software application so to design any desktop application or stand alone applications for this example is if you go to reliance supermarket like that the person will be making the bill so he need to install the software in his computer individually if you go to bata like that you need to uh, the person will be making the bill there will be a different software those are called as single user applications or stand alone applications the software has to be installed in the client machine there so next is what is if you want to design a web application web application means for this also you need a technology called asp.net in dotnet and along that along with that you need a language that is c sharp dotnet so this is a technology and this is a language using these two you can design a web application what is a web application for example nothing but you will use your gmail and you will use your facebook www.facebook.com like these applications do we need to install it in the all the computers of the clients no you will install it in a separate server where a common server will there for example gmail is there google will be using this gmail in google server you will install this gmail.com facebook will be installed in the server but users will be multiple for that multiple users can access this website at a time is it or not multiple users can access this gmail at a time so this this is called as uh, multi user application nothing but web app multi users can use it at a single time whereas here single users can use it so these are called as desktop or stand alone applications this is called as multi user application this is nothing but the web application for this we need asp.net and c sharp.net similarly to develop a mobile application these are all the technologies in dotnet to design a software application like mobile application for example to design any game we will we will need a mobile template provided by dotnet visual studio dotnet 
and we need a language language is common for everything only the thing changes is templates and the technology we need a mobile template and c sharp .net to design a game application similarly web services web services means what is a web service here to design a web service we need a asp.net web service template plus a language the language commonly we use in .net is c sharp because the syntax will be very easy using c sharp so most of the programmers nowadays are preferring c sharp c sharp.net as a common language using vb.net also you can develop it but c sharp.net is most preferable language today so to design asp.net web services web services we need asp.net web service template plus c sharp.net so examples for this web services sir payment gateway what's a payment gateway in flipkart.com when you go to flipkart.com and book any product suddenly it will be redirecting your page to a bank website that is nothing but a payment gateway then there you will be with your banker and you will be booking that particular product by entering your personal details like authentic it will do the authentication and authorization of your account like user id and password you will be putting it in internet banking that is called as payment gateway this payment gateway is nothing but a web service and another is another example is weather forecast weather forecast in google you will be getting the temperature for example hyderabad is like 32 degrees centigrade like that that is weather forecast these are all the examples of web services we'll discuss this detailly while discussing about the web services so these are the technologies so to design any type of software application you need a dot net language plus a dot net technology one is asp dot net another is web services another is windows forms and mobile applications